The Blue Gate Theater in Shipshawana is undergoing a major construction amounting to $3 million. Andrew Rohr, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Blue Gate Hospitality, reflects on the changes that he's seen in the last 19 years. When we started here, we, we produced actually a local show right across the street. And uh, then we started, when we built the new facility, we started getting in new acts and bigger and bigger names. The progression has really been with us and what we've learned, uh, not only with how to get bigger artists in, but the, the, the technical part of it, the sounds, the, the, the sound systems, the lights, uh, all that. Uh, the, it's a steep learning curve and it really took us the full 19 years to get to the point where we're at now. After these 19 years, the Blue Gate Theater is still focused on the same objective. Our goal is always just to try to provide the music that people are asking for, and people are always asking for the bigger and bigger names. In order to accommodate for these bigger acts, the Blue Gate Theater is about to embark on a $3 million project to remodel the venue. The Blue Gate itself is a pretty big organization. We have the restaurant, the theater, we have uh, three other retail stores, a hotel. Uh, as well as the event center. It's a, while $3 million is a large investment, we really feel like with the acts that we're getting in, um, it's gonna be a good investment. One of the biggest changes in the remodel is the capacity and seating within the auditorium. So the new theater, the whole venue will be sloping. Uh, we've pushed the design to the very maximum that we can to, and still stay in ADA compliance um, so that the, everybody can uh, get that that best view. Not only that, but better seating, uh, better arrangement. The, the, the furthest seat back is actually a third closer than the current venue, so um, it's going to feel a lot more intimate even though there's more seats there. The new developments are expected to be completed by January of 2020. For Globe News, I'm Katie Spore.